Well, hello there. How's it going, guys? I don't know if you noticed, but my face is looking good. My face is looking good. I tried to do my eye makeup to match my nails. I feel like this light is not doing my makeup any favors and it's really annoying, so I'm gonna try to fix it. Is this good? Is this better? Uno momento. Just follow me, come with me. This, is this good? No, this is washing me out, fuck. This is slightly better. Y'all get the idea. Okay, cool beans. And T who's in, I did my makeup all nice and beautiful for y'all cause I know you appreciate it. Unlike some people, I don't know who those people are but I'm sure they're out there who don't fucking appreciate my makeup. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got all made up and done up for you because I'm here for weekly Twitter advice. Weekly Twitter advice. I don't know how to stop doing this with my arms now. And my face, I gotta do better with my face. Uh, but yeah, we're here with weekly Twitter advice part two. So let's get started with question. Where do I start? My new hubby is a lying son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I caught him several times on Tinder and in real life looking for women. But what I didn't know was that his 19 year old daughter is hooking up him up with her friends too. Hell, there is so much. There is so much to unpack here. I feel like the fact that he was a liar was probably evident before you got married. So then you should not have married him, right? Like, I feel like that's pretty sound logic. Um, and if not, right, if you guys just randomly, if you guys just got married and then you found out after the fact, I feel like that means you probably shouldn't have gotten married in the first place still because you obviously didn't know him very well. Um, you should definitely know your spouse really well. And then the whole, I've caught him several times on Tinder and in real life looking for women. Like, what does that mean? Like, in real life you found him looking for, like, you just, you can't, like, you went out somewhere and he was there and he was like looking at other women like what does that mean and why has it happened multiple times without you what cutting him burning his shit and leaving him right the three facets of being a hoe biscuit i feel like first time right you're like okay whatever it was a one-time thing whatever whatever but after the second time that should be it game over his shit should be in a pile of ash on the ground. Either you should be out of the house or he should be out of the house, right? And then it says his 19 year old daughter is hooking him up with her friends. Like his daughter obviously doesn't fucking like you or care about you or your well-being. So he doesn't care about you or your well-being. His daughter doesn't care about you or your well-being. The sanctity of marriage has been destroyed in that house. Absolutely, Get out, get out and on your way out, punch his daughter in the mouth. She's an adult. She knows what she's doing, she deserves it. Just be like, bow, just bow. Throw out all of her fake eyelashes. You know what I'm saying? Like, do some shit. Fuck these people, fuck this family. They like brought you into the family only to be like, just kidding, not really. Like, get the fuck out. And make that nigga pay you too, shit. Question says, had a fling with the pastor's wife, but she's been good to me too, financially. I recently ended things because I found the one. Pastor's wife tells me every day that I'm going to hell, that she's summoning the devil on me, and I'm very afraid of what to do. <laughs> That's such a bad Italian accent. If I have any fans in Italy, just please know that I love you and I don't actually think that's what you sound like. Um, I'm just not good at accents. So yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm a deuce grace. Or I'm assuming, right? I'm assuming it's a dude. Um, it could be a woman. That'd be, whew, wouldn't that be something? 
something. Um, but stop sleeping with married people, please. Please just do yourself and the other person and the world a favor and stop sleeping with married people. But also, you must have some good ass dick to have the pastor's wife be like, oh, you're leaving me? The hell you, the devil. I will bring the devil into your home. Also, why are you afraid? Like, afraid of what? If the devil was coming for you, the devil was coming for you before the pastor's wife decided to summon him. Like, you slept with the pastor's wife. I'm surprised you didn't burst into flames when you walked through the church fucking door. Like, there is nothing for you to be afraid of at, at this point in time. Also, you said you found the one. I'm just curious. Does this person know that? Oh, I just realized the fucking, this fucking, just, the hydraulics on this chair fucking went out again. Uh, okay. <sighs> but anyway, do they know that you slept with the pastor's wife and that uh, now potentially you're going to be cursed for a hundred generations until somebody apologizes to the pastor's wife's great great grandchild? I think it's, I'm assuming it's a Madame Zeroni type of curse. Like, but anyway, yeah, if you were going to go to hell, you were going to go to hell for sleeping with the pastor's wife not for not sleeping with her, right? Like, that's kind of twisted backwards logic, so therefore I think there is nothing for you to be afraid of. I think you'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna move on. There, cause there's nothing for you to do except continue not sleeping with a married woman. I'm hoping your new person is not also a married woman. Moving on to question Siete. After a bad breakup, my bestie took me out. We drank a little too much and I had to work the next day, so her 18 year old son drove me home. That was eight months ago and I'm having his baby soon. He doesn't know and neither does she. Oh, that's so awkward. I don't, I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna deal with, this is gross. Why would you sleep with your best friend's son? Uh, he's too young to be a daddy. I don't, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm, there's no advice to give you. You waited, you waited too damn long to have an abortion and you're well past the point of like, okay, so you're having his baby soon. You're obviously, quite obviously pregnant and she's your best friend. So who's, who does she think the baby daddy is? Like, who have you been telling her it is? Eight months is a long ass time to hold on to this secret. You've essentially ruined any chance of keeping your friendship alive. Having a baby with a fresh out of childhood child like I hope you plan I hope you know you're gonna be like the sole provider for this child you know what I'm saying like especially because you waited so damn long to tell him like how is that fair to him you know he doesn't even have time to mentally prepare or anything this is a fucking mess you're you're bad you're you're bad at this friend thing with friends like you who needs enemies right like I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But you're getting a baby, so hey, babies. That's it for part two of our weekly Twitter advice. And uh, yeah, I feel like these questions went better than part one. Like these people, these people don't need actual advice, but it was just, you know, the kind of mess that I like. So there's this one with question five where this bitch married this dude who just keeps cheating on her and his daughter's in on it. You know, what happens in the family stays in the family, I guess. Ooh, that sounded gross. That's not what I meant, guys. That's not what I meant. Sorry. Um, and then there's question six where this nigga slept with the pastor's wife. She's been good to me too, financial. Holy shit, I didn't even look at the financially part. Woo! How much money? How much money was it? I need to know. 
It's gotta be a lot of fucking money for her to be this pissed off about it. How much money was it? She paid for your college? She paid for your college? She paid for your loans? She buy you a car? House? She buy you a house? I need to know. I need, I need these questions answered. I need a follow up. And then there's fucking question seven where this bitch is having her best friend's son's kid and that is just really unfortunate for everybody involved except for the child. I guess child gets to be alive and you know, presumably cute. But uh, that's it for part two of this. Keep an eye out for the answers where we see what Twitter had to say to these miscreants. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's getting lit. Three, two, one.